this video, we are going to learn how to use the Surf Simply online volume to weight calculator alongside the Surf Simply tree of knowledge to determine both your surfing level and the suitable surfboard volume that will help you to either learn a new skill or perfect existing ones. For this chart, we've decided to use percentages to describe the ratio between a surfer's weight in kilograms and surfboard volume in litres. We think this is the most intuitive way to express these ratios. As an example, an 80 kilogram surfer riding a 40 litre board would have a ratio of 50%, whilst a 40 kilogram surfer on the same 40 litre board would have a ratio of 100%. There are two important things to understand before you start using this chart. Number one, this chart will not tell you what size board you should be riding. It will, however, tell you the smallest board that is practical for developing the most common surf skills. Riding a board smaller than suggested is not impossible, but will result in slower progress for a variety of reasons. Remember that with the correct technique and timing, any board can be used to perform almost any maneuver and that bigger boards are often helpful when learning new skills. Perhaps surprisingly, for levels one through three, surfboards with ratios of 200% or higher are still completely functional, as demonstrated by stand-up paddle surfers or petite longboarders. To begin using the Surf Simply Volume to Weight Calculator, first you need your weight in kilograms as this will make the most sense should you want to know your own percentage. We use a level system from level 1 to level 4. This can be acquired by using the Surf Simply Tree of Knowledge and looking for the area of skills you are working on. For example, if you are new to the sport, then within level 1 you will see skills such as standing up in the white water or stalling and accelerating. Whereas if you are learning to cut back on an unbroken wave, then you will see that this skill is introduced within level 3. Now you have the components needed to determine your minimum functional volume to progress through these levels. So, to find that volume, let's look at the volume to weight online calculator. First, find your weight on the y-axis and then up to your determined surfing level. You will see that the minimum functional volume is then displayed on the x-axis. And there we have it a volume calculated using both your weight and surfing experience. Now you have information for that first surfboard or a chance to explore a further diverse quiver. And for now, thanks for watching.